Hello, in this video I'm going to teach you about water and its role as the universal solvent. In the process I'm also going to show you how polar solvents rip apart polar solutes when they dissolve. First let's remember a few things. Four things specifically. First, water is polar and that means that its molecules act like little magnets with positive and negative ends. Second, a solute is dissolved into a solvent to form a solution. These are the vocabulary words we use to describe the dissolution process. Third, solubility is a measurement of how well one thing dissolves inside another thing. And finally, solubility is high when the solute and the solvent have the same polarity, so they're both polar or they're both nonpolar. Now that we have that review, let's get started. Water is called the universal solvent because it can dissolve an extremely high number of chemicals. Water's polar nature allows it to dissolve almost any other polar molecule inside itself. So water is H2O, the oxygen is partially negative, and the hydrogens are partially positive, so it acts like a little magnet. So we're going to be looking at this process where salt crystals get dissolved into water. We're going to see what happens as the crystals seem to disappear. And we have our salt crystal on the left, and the water on the right. So the first thing that I'm going to have you remember is that the salt crystal is not a big block. It's actually made of atoms. Specifically, this salt crystal is made of sodium and chloride atoms stacked together, NaCl, table salt. And to make things easier, I'm going to represent every positive sodium with a big plus sign and every negative chloride with a big minus sign. This works the same way for every sort of polar or electrically charged molecule that water dissolves. So let's say that in the random course of movement, one of these water molecules moves in towards the salt crystal. Now the oxygen is a little bit negative and the hydrogen is a little bit positive because water is polar, so it acts like a little magnet. And magnets attract each other, specifically the opposites will attract. So that means that this negative end of this water molecule will attract this positive atom in the crystal. So when they're attracting, the water molecules are still moving around, it's a liquid, and so when it moves away, it drags this particle with it. And so the salt crystal now is missing a piece, and that sodium, that positive atom, is now dissolved into the water. And remember, it's not really a magnet, it's a water molecule. So the same thing can happen. A water molecule moves in, but this time the hydrogens are close to it. And remember, the oxygen is negative and the hydrogens are positive. So the positive hydrogen is going to connect with the negative chloride, or whatever the negative atom is in that compound. So once the positive and negative are stuck together, then when the water molecule moves away, it'll drag it with it. And so the salt crystal is now missing another piece. And so this is just going to keep happening. Water molecule is going to get close to the crystal, take either the positive or the negative atom, and take it with it as it moves away, until eventually the entire salt crystal is gone, and its pieces are spread out among the water molecules. This is a way to visualize it too. You have sodiums and chlorides, or any two atoms, that are electrically charged, and the water molecules come in grab parts of it because it's polar and rips them off until eventually there's nothing left and it gets spread out in the water, which is what we call dissolved. Water is called the universal solvent because the solubility of almost all polar chemicals is extremely high in water. Water can dissolve almost any polar thing. This is because the polar nature of water allows it to rip apart the electrically charged atoms in these chemicals. There are a lot of things that water doesn't dissolve, mostly nonpolar things like Sharpie ink or rubber, but we still call it the universal solvent because it's really commonly used and it dissolves a lot of stuff. I don't like this name very much, but it is very common. Anyway, that was it. I hope that was helpful.